Tak, jeg lader. <laughs> so anyway, uh, thanks to dad and mom. Oh. We had a wonderful upbringing. Sorry, oh my god. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Full of fun and laughter with family, family parties. Uh, <laughs> holidays with a leather jacket. My leather jacket. My leather jacket. My leather jacket. Holidays at home and abroad. There's lots of abroad pictures here because I stuck them all in. That was really Getting tired in. See the shorts are getting longer. <laughs> no. Even when Dad occasionally looked like Steven Spielberg. Look at that. That's really funny because the picture of the two of them looked raging. <laughs> I remember that. My mum didn't want to get a photograph taken, and my dad came down to see what was taking so long to get on the boat. Listen, guys, I've got a film going on here. That's why I got this film. Guys, funny, you know, <laughs> 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 But anyway, here comes the talkie bit. As you all know, I am very close to my dad, and it's so special to have that unique bond. When my body gets hurt, or my eyes, uh, my eyes drop a tear, when I feel bound down by my fears, you were always there to guide me. You have always loved me, you're the best amongst the rest, and I cannot deny that fact. Aww. I have celebrated many, many milestones, with you from my first dance show to finally graduating from uni. But I think we all know the one milestone that I'm looking forward to, and that is when you walk me down the aisle. I will lean on you with pride, for I know that you are the reason for the woman that I have that I have become. And nothing will ever so change. So it's your fault. <laughs> <laughs> so nothing fault. will ever ever change my love for you. And I cannot wait to dance to her song at my wedding. So, um, my bit. My dad is my best friend. He really is. He's my biggest counsellor and uh, the most, my most important critic. If it wasn't for him, I would never have picked up an instrument and uh, become the, the man I am today. He introduced me to music, sitting at his feet as he played his vinyls, looking at the artwork through his, collect his record collection as he recorded the tapes for the car. <laughs> My first ever drum kit was the passenger, the, the headrest in the passenger seat in the car as I sat in the back <laughs> and battered lumps out it to Iron Maiden or Queen. Over the years he became a roadie packing an obscene amount of stuff into that Mondeo. <laughs> a manager, getting his gigs all over Scotland with the juveniles. And uh, a shoulder whenever a gig was a bit mince. But you were always there to tell me why I was a bit mince at that gig. <laughs> the advice and support and encouragement and the love that Dad has given us is priceless. And I'll, I'll cherish it forever. Absolutely. Excellent. Oh, sorry. Oh, oh, oh dear. And it's made me a lot of the people. Oh, there's so much better looking. It really is. <laughs> okay, sorry. Uh, carry on. Oh, well, you know that my dad loves us all very much, but he also loves his other family. Obviously, we're oh. that too. Not there, but she's there. <laughs> um, so it doesn't matter if it's his family wins, uh, his church wins, or his juvenile wins. <laughs> oh, look at Lindsay. No. Yes, I just like that picture because you're on double down. <laughs> <laughs> the Kentucky tuxedo. <laughs> 
as well as Dad's love for the family, he also has a great many other passions, including gardening, a bit of DIY, mm -hmm. and, you know, fluffy, hairy things. Oh. <laughs> and rabbits! And rabbits! Look at me, Lumps! Look at me, Lumps! Where is she? Oh, she was so cute. Another one of my dad's greatest passions are these World War II collectibles. Especially the old planes. What he would give to actually fly one of those. It's literally in his bones. He's desperate to do it. But then again, it's not just uh, World War II. Oh, no, this is just for me. It's... <laughs> Brilliant. <laughs> I remember when I was younger and Dad used to strap a backpack or a bum bag <laughs> and walk everywhere. He once walked from New York to New Jersey. <laughs> to this day, he loves being in the outdoors. <clears throat> uh, the highlight of my year is when we take our annual hike to Keswick. Uh, even if he brings up bloody heart. <laughs> <laughs> He's not much for boats. <laughs> but, but, he does, but he does try, despite what might happen. <laughs> and of course, we all know him, he loves, a, he loves his sweeties, he's got a bit of a sweet tooth. Maybe not the beer, but certainly a, a, a sweet tooth. <laughs> Where was that one? <laughs> I can't remember that one. <laughs> I've seen that face plenty of times. <laughs> And as you all know, my dad's most recent and probably one of the best experiences he's ever had was jetting off the camera. <laughs> <laughs> you can see that he fitted in well with the locals. He met some really, really good folk. Oh. The, the stories haven't settled too far in my brain for us to kind of really give you a good story, but I'm sure you'll, you'll hear them in time of all the interesting folk and all the good things he's done. He's 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 been telling us, he's been All the wings that he was trying to find in his suitcase. <laughs> but another reason why he went to Uganda and he was picked to go to Uganda is he's a fantastic public speaker, as you all know. Whether it being in Uganda in a mud hut, <laughs> whether at the lodge, in a church, or on national TV. <laughs> <laughs> My dad just loves telling stories, as you know, which would somehow bring us to his sense of humour. <laughs> I can't remember that one either. I can't remember that one. His sense of humour, <laughs> there you are, Wendy. There they are, Wendy, do that again. And how much he loves a prank. <laughs> <laughs> the day he frightened my grand. That was in Malta. That was Malta. Hmm. <laughs> that was Christmas. That was Christmas, aye. That was a fix. Yeah. <laughs> Unfortunately, his dress sense hasn't changed much. <laughs> <laughs> when was that? Is that recent? Probably. Uh, Last week. <laughs> Still got that t shirt. <laughs> but then again. His sense of humour's there, but I've <laughs> got a sense of humour too. Oh, Thomas? <laughs> Oh. Oh. We're as close Did as a family can get. And uh, at the heart of the family, for, for me, is Dad. And he was taught with the best. It turned him into the great family man that he is today. Because even though he's got all these amazing passions and all these amazing talents, it's family that's what's, what's most important to Dad. His family, there's, there's lots of us. And that's the most important thing. Even the new additions. <laughs> so dads, here we are on your very special day. You're not only 60, but you're finally retired. The day you've been waiting on for so long. We love you more than words can say. Your guidance and support has made us into the people yeah. that we are today. So everybody, raise your glasses. And join me in wishing Dad a very happy birthday and retirement. 
And we love you very much. Happy birthday, man. Very good, guys. Well done. Well done, Well done, Lucas. 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 Well done,